Have you ever gotten really tired of being pushed around? Here's what I gotta say. Stand up for yourself. It's only going to make you feel better, even if it's an uncomfortable situation. So I've got a couple of things I've been thinking about that were awkward and uncomfortable when I went through them, but turned out to be a much better option for me and everyone else. Um, so the first thing I can think of is this during the pandemic, um, I was staying in a house that uh, the owner was in another country. He didn't know what was going on. Anyway, um, renting the house and um, with a family member. And the owner apparently had sent somebody to the front door <laughs> who said that the owner said she was going to stay there because she was writing a book and she needed the place. I said... Well, this uh, was not conveyed to us by the owner. She actually tried to push her way by me in the front door. And I stood there blocking the entrance, as I should. I was really appalled. Um, it didn't get ugly, uh, but I didn't allow her to enter, because that was wrong. And that was best for everyone involved. Turned out... Um, I don't even know the answer to that one, but it was ugly. And then another time, was this is 20 years ago when I had first gotten my first uh, book contract in Maui, and it was the first time I had spoken publicly about getting this publishing contract from Celestial Arts, which was bought by Random House. And it was me, my publisher, and a powerful literary agent who was supposed to lead this talk. So right before we're going to go on, she says, you know, she comes up to me, there's nobody around, and she says, I just don't know, you know, I was thinking it would be better if you sat in the audience and then I could call your name and um, introduce you that way. And I said, no, I'm going to be up on the stage. I was really appalled. Um, again, and she said, but I just don't know how to incorporate you in our talk. I said, well, people want to hear what I have to say, since I was one of the only ones that got a publishing contract at this big conference the year before. Um, so I said no. And then when my publisher found out about it, when I told her, she was irate, because we both knew what she was trying to do. She was trying to push me to the side and take focus off of me for some reason. I don't know, you don't need to know the reason. So the point is, um, stand up for yourself. You know in your gut, when you have a feeling that you want to uh, live your true self and it's uncomfortable and you can't believe this is happening to you, but hold firm, um, be who you are, Take a stand. Stand up for yourself. And um, that's all you can really do. Don't think about the response. Just be who you are in that moment. Be your authentic self. And this is what I wanted to tell you today. So go out there and live life fully. See you in the next video.